take a breath feel Christ don't listen with your head listen with your heart listen with the breath put your hand in your belly just breathe take a few deep breaths Every single one of us is continually on a perpetual journey of learning what it looks like to be Christ conscious. This is about the fullness of Christ in you. This is about Christ in you, the hope of glory. Feel the breath, don't think, just feel. Just feel. You're loved. You belong. You've always been one. You've never been divided. You've always been one. You've always been perfect in Christ. You've always been loved in Christ. Full in Christ, full of ecstasy, pleasure, delight, of joy, of peace, of patience, of kindness, goodness, of gentleness, full of self control, full of beauty, full of life, full of love. You're full, you're crammed full, and ever expanding in that fullness. You have no need to look outside of yourself. You have no need to open your eyes, ears, or anything to look outside of yourself for pleasure. You can literally close your eyes and sink into the inner reality of what's within and live there forever. Just stay there in perfect ecstasy with a high that does not disappoint, with a high that does not leave you wanting more because it's ever expanding a high that doesn't leave you thinking you need to do something because you realize you didn't get it by doing anything. You got it because you simply realized the truth of who you already were in him and who he already was in you. This is the reality. I need you to recognize, even to those of you who feel like there's a wow, or to those of you that go, oh yeah, I know that. No, 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 no. This is not enough. We have to feel and experience and continue to expand in that joy of knowing Him. I don't care what you believe. That's not the important thing here. The important thing is what you're experiencing here with it. You're feeling him. This is a powerful experience. Every aspect of our life is meant to be lived out of this place of pure, undefiled pleasure. Experiencing Christ here, and then every activity, every action, every thought, everything is then flowing out of Christ's consciousness. Instead of flowing from the intellect, it's flowing through Christ's consciousness. This is where true joy is. This is the only place I've ever been able to live where I wasn't let down. Jesus Christ is the only friend that's never disappointed. This is that place of peace, of perfect peace, of perfect satisfaction, where there is no more want, where there is no more desire. I can enjoy all the things around me, but I don't need them. This is the place where there's perfect stillness, where I don't need to cling to and claim ownership of anything because I have fullness here. This is the place where you feel so full that when somebody comes and says, take me one mile, you don't mind taking them two, 
tries to mug you and take your money or take your cloak, you give them everything because you're not attached to it, because you have fullness here. You're not identified in what's out here. Not identified in the exoteric realities and in the things outside of yourself because you're identifying Christ in you, the hope of war. All the depth of the kingdom is found here. It's not found in a book. It's not found in the Bible. It's found here. And this is that reality. Don't get discouraged if you don't think that you're feeling what I'm feeling or what somebody else is feeling. Simply be aware of the breath. That is feeling Christ. Allow that to expand. I promise you this. You are already hearing from him. You are already feeling him. He is already touching you and he's filling you. He's exploring you. You just might not be aware of all that he's doing. So as you turn your attention within and you practice turning your attention within, those neural pathways and those things in your mind begin to change so that you're not distracted and those things aren't pulling you away from the inner truth of who you are. No matter how deep anything goes, it always comes back to Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory.